hi everybody this is lily dog coming to you i wanted to show you a little video about different types of hair dryers so this is the first one this is a golden hot 1400 watt dryer i got this from sally's um, this is a hard bonnet dryer this case is the bonnet top um, it has two locks on the side to keep it closed this is how it looks when it's open so here we go Well, this is how it's with this open. Um, it has a little area in the back to store the cord. Um, this is the bonnet. It can be raised to sit, adjust it so it sits like this. Or you can have a little bit of a tilt. Um, the neck moves up and down as well. You can move higher or lower, all the way down. Um, this front part, oh, can you see that? Right here, this is the control. You have a off, cool, low, medium, and high. This is where the air comes out. Let me let you listen to how it sounds. This dryer, um, it only has one speed, so to speak. Um, you can adjust the temperature of the of the air, low, of cool, low, medium, and high. But the speed is always the same. So let me plug it in so you can hear how that sounds. So this is it on cool. And this is it on high. So as you can see, there's really no difference in the way it sounds, just the temperature changes. The air speed stays the same. And that is this dryer. That is again the golden hot 1400 watt hard bonnet tabletop dryer and this is the other dryer that I use that I like a lot this is also golden hot this is a soft bonnet dryer this is the case it comes in it's very small and compact here is the retractable handle um, This is what you get inside. You have the motor in the middle. Um, here is the hose. Over here is a little compartment for the bonnet, and over here is a little compartment for the plug. So with this dryer, you have a, a temperature switch. You have cool and high, and over here you have an air speed switch. So you have low and high. I'm sorry, you have cool and hot, and then low and high over here so this bonnet can be a little bit louder when you have it on the high setting as opposed to the low setting um, this is how it works you would take out the holes which is attached to the motor inside pull out the bonnet and the bonnet has a little connector piece right here and you just connect the holes to the little hole and then it snaps right in place. Easy peasy. This is the extra large jumbo bonnet. Um, this is pretty big. You're going to be able to fit all your hair in here, all your locks in a roller set in here pretty much. This gets to be, this, this bonnet is huge. And let me plug it in so you can also hear all the sounds. So, this is it on low. And as you can see, the bonnet top kind of just fills up with air. The cap will fill up with air. And this is it on high. So it's going to be a little bit louder. This bonnet also has an adjustable um, band right here, and it also has a drawstring tied in the back so you can tighten it up on your head. Those are the two dryers, and I'm going to bring the camera a little bit closer so I can talk to you a little bit more about the features of each dryer and which one I like better and why. Okay, so um, this hard top bonnet, this golden hot, 
hard top on it is golden hot there we go is not my preferred bonnet for a few reasons my preferred dryer for a few reasons um the first one is the dryer is kind of large it's harder to store because it's you know it's pretty big um i can't really fit in my linen closet it's a little bit too high for the shelves takes up a lot of room right now i have it stored in my dining room but you know that's not really convenient when i have company over at the hideout somewhere um the second thing is the bonnet goes like around the outside of your head and you have like a lot of space around your head so your hair takes longer to dry when i usually do a braid out i'll sit under this for about an hour and after an hour my hair usually isn't all the way dry i have to usually um sleep on my hair and then the next day usually it's dry not always depending on, depending on how much i tower dried it um you might just say well why don't you put it on high well the high setting is incredibly incredibly hot this dry gets really really hot and it burns <laughs> if you have clips in your hair it's gonna burn um when i use the lock loops with this dryer i was always concerned about the lock loops melting because it gets so hot um and you have to and you you put it on medium because the hot's too high but on the medium it takes forever for your hair to dry so it's like uh, um and also my biggest issue with this dryer is um just using it this dryer needs to be on a tabletop Ooh, that's my cell phone it needs to be on a tabletop and so usually i'll put this on my dining room table and i'll bring a chair and i'll put the chair against the table and i'll sit there um, and I'm kind of stuck in one spot. You can't really move around too much with this dryer. I can't like use it in the living room and watch TV. I can't use it in my office and use my computer because you have to be sitting somewhere where the, you have the dryer up high enough that it'll go the bottom will hook over your head. But um, the chair has to be low enough too. So it's like trying to find the right table height with the right chair height so that you can sit underneath of it and have your head under the bonnet. Um, it can be a pain in the butt, and um, you're, you're stuck in one spot, and it's not very comfortable. This dryer, this golden hot soft bonnet dryer, I love it because everything that that dryer I don't like about that dryer, I love about this dryer. Um, the soft bonnet dryer, first of all, it's very small, very compact. It's the case is like this narrow, so right now it's in my living room between my sofa and my love seat because usually I do it in the living room. Also, I can I can do my hair in the living room. I can. You know, put the dryer, the case on the tape, on the couch beside me. Put the bonnet on and, you know, watch TV or read a book or, you know, um, knit or whatever I want to do. I can bring it in the office with me and put it on my desk and drive my hair while I'm on the computer. It's very, very convenient to move it around. Um, it's very light. It's very easy to store. Also, it dries faster because you're putting the bonnet, like, around your whole head, like a, almost like a shower cap. Yeah, your, all of your head is enclosed and it's all in the heat so it dries faster so doing a, a braid out with this bonnet takes about drying a braid out takes about 45 minutes as opposed to drying a braid out with a hard bonnet tabletop dryer it took me about like I said an hour and then my hair still wasn't dry also the high setting on this one isn't so hot that it burns or that it's uncomfortable so I can put my put the bonnet on, tighten it up so that my hair, my whole hair is covered. Make sure my ears are out so that I can, you know, hear. I have to put the TV up a little bit louder so I can hear it. But I can sit there, I can watch the show, I can, you know, do my homework on the computer, I can read a book, and it's it's just much more convenient. Um, but anyways, this one was, I believe it was fifty or fifty-five dollars at Sally's. I had a coupon, and I got five dollars off. Um, and I've used it a few times and I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Um, and I think that's about it. Yeah, I think that's about it out there to say about these dryers. Uh, so I hope I helped you out. Gave you guys a little bit more perspective on these two different styles of dryers. Uh, if you have any uh, questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And rate, comment, and subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.